Inside of the Third Reich, the Nazi party banned many different things, some which would be regarded as strange. The Nazis insisted on complete loyalty to Hitler and the regime, and because of this they would not tolerate anything that went against their laws and rules. Things got very tough for specific groups of people within Nazi Germany, and there were many limitations on people's freedoms. The Nazis wanted to make sure that they had people reading books that they deemed were acceptable, and they also wanted to control what people watched in cinemas, and they ultimately wanted to control every aspect of life. Here are some strange things that Hitler and the Nazis banned, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Nazis, during their time in control in Germany, took great steps to ban literature and books from specific groups of authors. Those books who were written by Jewish authors were outlawed, and all anti-Nazi ideas were banned with huge amounts of censorship being brought into society. Huge book burnings took place, with 20,000 Jewish and communist books being thrown into fires in the centre of Berlin in 1933. Even the works of Albert Einstein were not safe. After the Second World War began, the Germans created huge lists of banned books, and these were distributed inside of the countries that they also occupied, and they expected people living under occupation not to read these. Writers such as Bertolt Brecht, Sigmund Freud, Ernest Hemingway, Franz Kafka, Karl Marx, Oscar Wilde, Mark Twain and H.G. Wells were on that list. Many of these writers were said to have been political authors, whose messages disagreed with what the Nazis wanted, and there were special committees formed to decide which books or pieces of literature were said to have been anti-national or un-German. During book burnings, thousands of people gathered in public spaces and threw their texts into the fires. There was a huge amount of celebration, and many sung and danced while this happened. In Berlin, 40,000 people gathered to hear Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda, speak in Opera Square, and he said, The future German man will not just be a man of books, but a man of character. It is to this end that we want to educate you, and thus you do well in the midnight hour to commit to the flames the evil spirit of the past. One book which even shockingly faced the fires was Bambi, A Life in the Woods. The Nazi government deemed the original book as political allegory on the treatment of the Jews in Europe, and many first edition copies were sent to the flames, meaning that today the first editions are difficult to find and are very rare. Under the Reich Chamber of Culture, strict rules on art were also introduced. Art which was referred to as modern art was said to have been degenerate art, and it was also said that this was an insult to German feeling. There was a large 1937 exhibition held by the Nazis in Munich containing modernist art, but the exhibition was designed to cause outrage and shock the public against the idea and concept of modernism, with the Nazis wanting to promote more traditional painters. But the exhibition had the opposite effect, and people flocked to see it, and it actually became a huge tourist attraction, and it travelled around to different German cities. Some expressionist paintings were removed from museums and then disappeared, and Hitler gave his own taste in art to influence the rules around it. Many painters even went into exile for fear for their lives and tried to hide. A huge amount of degenerate art by Picasso and Dali, amongst others, was burned on a bonfire on the evening of the 27th of July 1942 in Paris, which was under German occupation. Inside of France, it was possible to buy and sell these works, but thousands of pieces of art were destroyed and stolen by the Nazis. Hermann Goering became one of the biggest art collectors as he realised the value in some of these works, and he then hid them away, and he seized pieces from Van Gogh and Cezanne. In March 1939, the Berlin Fire Brigade set fire to around 4,000 paintings and drawings that claimed they were of little value. However, in reality... However, in reality, this was millions of dollars worth of art which was being vandalised. Still, in the last few decades, pieces of banned art or degenerate art have been located inside Germany when they were hid during the time of the Third Reich. Much of the culture banned by the Nazis was linked to the Weimar Republic and the period of the 1920s of which Hitler and the Nazis detested. Germany's towns were buzzing at the time with jazz clubs and cabaret and new music, 
but the Nazis banned modern music and embraced classical German music. Wagner, Bach and Beethoven were in, and the jazz music, which they believed had strong links to America, was out as Hitler did not want his people being influenced by American media and music. Music by non-German composers was allowed if it was inspired and had a classical feel to it, but music that had a Jewish origin was also banned and a number of operas were also outlawed. With regards to film, the Nazis turned their backs on films being made abroad, for example in Hollywood, and they did not like their culture being influenced by American-made media. Because of this, Germany created their own film industry, with Goebbels a true mastermind behind this, but many of the films made had a horrific anti-Semitic meaning behind them. The anti-Semitism in places is also incredibly obvious, and with this the films were created to invoke hatred of the Jews, and after some showings, violence was found on the streets, as people were so angered by what they'd seen and watched that they went searching for Jews to attack. What is strange, though, is that Hitler, despite this, would import films from Hollywood himself, as he believed they were of better quality, and he would then watch them alone in his house. Also, foreign radio was banned and outlawed, and there were ways that this could be obtained by resistance groups and those who criticised Hitler, but if someone was found listening to it, then they were liable to be arrested and interrogated by the Gestapo. The Reich Radio Company controlled all radio stations, and they distributed cheap radios to make sure that Hitler's speeches could be heard by the masses. But despite censorship being introduced to the media to a huge extent, there were other strange aspects of society which were being banned. Telling a joke which was slightly anti-Nazi was said to have been a criminal offence, and there were accounts of people being sent to concentration camps because of this. Also, the Nazis banned contraception, as they wanted German Aryan people to have as many children as possible for the Third Reich and for Hitler's empire, with the belief that boys would one day become soldiers for the army, and then girls would eventually become mothers, who would then raise more children. The Nazi belief for women was that they would have as many children as possible for Hitler's empire, but because of this, women were banned from professional jobs, and they were banned from being teachers, lawyers, doctors, and also they were encouraged to have as many children through grants, and to also get married. Anything that was deemed as a threat to Hitler and the Nazis was also outlawed, including political enemies such as communists and dissenters, and these people were then sent to concentration camps. The Nazis also banned trade unions, as they thought they were a threat to Hitler's government. But the Nazis even went further, trying to control people's lives, as they tried to achieve nutritional freedom, in their words, and they tried to discourage their own people to stop eating foods such as white bread, meat and butter, and they instead wanted people to eat brown bread and potatoes, and foods which were imported, such as coffee and oranges, were also discouraged. They even created their own foods based on this, for example, quark, which was a milk product, which previously was used as animal feed, and also Eintopf, which was a casserole made from the leftovers, which was eaten once a month on the first Monday. These policies with food led to a decline in the consumption of meat and milk, but also the population were becoming more unhealthy. There were huge changes to people's lives when the Nazis came in, there were plans to dominate the lives of the population, with the political beliefs and policies of Hitler's political party. People could not go to the cinema anymore to watch an entertaining film. They were now being forced to watch what had been created by Goebbels' ministry, and this carried the undertones of the Nazi messages, and there was no escape. Hitler even banned some photos of him, which saw him portrayed in a different light. For example, there is a photograph of him sat on a sledge, and this is very eerie, knowing that the man who brought the deaths of millions across Europe was able to enjoy himself on a snowy mountainside just like a normal person. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.